so um, I officially have a problem with K-pop and I'm pretty sure this is going to be a K-pop obsession video oh when I get obsessed I really get obsessed so this is because I haven't slept and it's morning and I have to go to tech today like I didn't sleep at all and I'm scared of actually getting bags under my eyes so I'm wearing anti-aging cream Underneath. Will it help? Do you leave it there? I don't know. I don't know how skin works. It does look weird. Anyway, so I'm going to wrap it in. Hopefully I don't look like a tired mess. I've been watching so many K-pop shows and stuff for hours. I think today and yesterday I watched approximately... Hmm... 15 hours of K-pop, non-stop, um, nothing else. I haven't been watching my subscriptions on um, YouTube, I haven't been watching the series. Today, uh, the Big Bang Theory comes out, I think, and I might not watch that just because I'm going to be watching K-pop, and I'm going to keep watching now until I have to get up. So that's a problem. I don't think it's a problem, though, but normally when people have problems, I don't think it's problems. Oh, um, oh, I can feel my face, like, my skin doesn't like this. I don't really normally care about my skin, I just care about the bags under my eyes. I need to get that makeup that completely takes it away. I don't have that. You can still see it when I put makeup on, it's just that. Anyway, I'm not tired too, which, I don't know, it's weird. So I'm watching any sort of show where Taemin, Taem, I don't, you know what, it's, it's spelled Taemin, but I don't like pronouncing things that suit my accent, so Taemin, um, I'm watching things where he is starring, all the reality kind of shows, and I'm obsessed, I can't stop, I really watched all of Sinister's, um, Alma, stuff, so I went through that in like a couple of months. I went through their songs and stuff in a couple of months. Now I'm back on to shiny. I'm obsessed with shiny now. I kind of am there where I think it's better than Gold Generation. It's better than... I don't know why. I'm completely obsessed. And I'm definitely moving to Korea. I, I feel like a crazy person. But like the things I'm saying, it all happened in a couple of days or like a couple of weeks. So... This is not all just coming to me now after a couple of hours of watching it. So, um, I think that's why I'm watching it. Um, the reason why I'm not obsessed is it's distracting. It's distracting me. Um, the reason why I'm obsessed with watching all this is because I really want to go that bad. I want to leave this country. Not that South Africa is horrible or anything. I just didn't want to live in Korea that bad that when I feel when I stop watching that I'm back to the reality I don't want to be in and I want to be in Korea I want to live in Korea I'm going to learn Korean as well I started learning a little bit of Japanese but I think I'm going to stop that I'm going to learn Japanese as well eventually but I want to learn Korean like ASAP like really study a lot of Korean people <laughs> people are starting to go to work it's cars driving anyway so um I'm watching a lot of K-pop. Doesn't mean I'm not taking care of myself. So I'm doing my hair. I'm obviously I'm um, showering, <laughs> obviously, and changing my clothes. And although I'm wearing the same thing I wore yesterday, I think it's my pajamas though. Put it back on. Um, yeah. So I feel uh, I feel really depressed when I'm not watching any K-pop stuff though, because I have to go back to tech and. No one understands my obsession. No one shares my interest with this. No one's going to understand when I speak a little Korean that I learned in this past couple of weeks. Um, but yeah, Shane is on board, by the way. Um, so we are going to be learning it together. And we're going to go together. And yeah, I'm super excited. It's just, uh, I don't really want to leave my computer. I don't want to leave K-pop. Um, so... I think this is day 53 or 54. I think it's 53. I don't know. Um, I'm going to go to 100 days. 
but I think I'm going to continue vlogging after that. I'm going to stop for a little while just to, you know, start fresh, carry on from my hundred. And then I think my vlogs are going to, oh, I have to sub, no, I'm not going to subtitle every vlog. I may, I really want to do, um, YouTube where I speak Korean only. Not really only exclusively, but I want to just have maybe, I don't know if it's a Korean channel because I'm not going to be in Korea. I don't know, Korean language channel. I'm not sure, but I'm really fascinated in Korea and Japanese, Korean and Japanese. So that's happening. I'm definitely, by the time I'm done studying, I think I'm going to be speaking Korean. Not fluently, obviously. So all thanks to k-pop <laughs> someone asked me what makes me want to speak korean and then i'll be like k-pop it's such a weird excuse to speak another language but i know they um it's not just the music it's just the people the interviews they're so nice and i'm kind of sick of people being mean um i don't know I'm, I, when you think when you watch a lot of american Okay, this is gonna be a long talking vlog and just warning you although it's probably five minutes already um i'm sick of american shows any like not series but reality shows i'm so sick of them i don't really watch them for a very long time because i'm just sick of the rudeness the arguing so negative and so rude like even I don't know any kind of american show i can think of like reality show is so mean sometimes like no respect no i don't know it's just so much power the person with so much power has so much ego and when you watch korean um reality shows there's no ego and there's no being mean stuff like that um yeah, it's just, everyone's nice, everyone's respectful. I really appreciate the respectfulness with Korean. Um, I had a Korean friend when I was in high school for a short time. She moved back to Korea. And she was telling me about K-pop and stuff. I forgot which band she was talking about. But, you know, she was very nice. Uh, but the one thing that I did recognize, um, notice from the shows and from my friends, actually there were three of them, um they're they're very nice very respectful but they were very straightforward when it came to your looks like they're not afraid to tell you what's wrong with you even if you don't ask and it's like obviously they don't mean to be mean um but like you can't help but take offense and that's one thing about them which actually i can actually get used to but because honesty is yeah, I can get used to honesty um, and being frank about things. So yeah, I really want to move there ASAP because it feels like the more I don't, the more I'm, how do I say it, the more I spend here and not in Korea where I want to be, where I know I'll be happy, the more it feels like I'm wasting my life because um, South Africa is not I, I can't really compare it to any place because I haven't been anywhere but Korea oh what is 9 minutes um, oh, and I forgot what I was saying um, I still have this stuff in my eyes don't I oh, I think it just soaked up maybe it's a good thing Anyway, um, yeah, I was going to say about South Africa, it's a place if you like to, it's a relaxing sort of place. It's not, there's parts of it that's really chilled and relaxed. There's parts of it that's crazy. There's parts of it, there's like a, a variety of places. I want to go to a place where the entire place, obviously there's different sort of moods in each area or whatever, but I want to go to a place where everyone's nice. Obviously, well, but not 100% of them, but you know, generally, everyone is, and every place is a certain, I don't know how to explain it, I don't know if you're getting what I'm saying, 
apparently 5 a.m. is where I think clearly the most. Anyway, yeah, I think um, South Africa is a bit too boring for me. It's not really a boring place, it's just that I've been here for 21 years. After 21 years, you do get bored. So there's lots of things to do in South Africa, but sometimes you get bored, especially since if you live in a house, the same house for that long. Um... Yeah, this is going to be the vlog, just me talking and stuff, because I don't want to end the vlog like that. So yeah, if you want to come to South Africa, it's awesome. If you're looking for something different, my space ran out, so I don't know what I, what did I say? Um, yeah, a, a, a small little reasons like that, I, I tend to watch a lot of, I intend to watch a lot of Korean stuff and I don't want to use the subtitles anymore anyway enough of this because this is about 10 minutes I think or longer so if you have watched this if you have gotten this far which I don't know I don't know if anyone has I just talk my head off thank you for watching um, thank you for subscribing thank you for liking and I intend to do Korean vlogs one day. <laughs> Thank you for watching. Watch my other vlogs. And sorry for the long talking vlog. Bye.